Good morning. My name is Eileen Nicole, and I um, am getting on here today or this morning just to share a dream that I had. Um, so I've been getting dreams, um, prophetic dreams, since I was very, very, very small. The first time, <laughs> the first time I got a prophetic dream, I got a dream where I got beat up by a little Messian boy in our apartments and then I woke up and then it happened. So I've been getting it and I was probably like maybe four or f no, I was probably like six or seven. Cause we were, I was real small. We were all real small, but I remember that happening and I was scared cause I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Anyway, I have another prophetic dream and normally I just write them down or I just kind of keep them to myself or pray about them. But today God asked me to share this dream, start sharing my dream. So I'm going to share this dream. Um, so um, I have a close relationship with God, the father, uh, the father in heaven, the heavenly father, the God of all flesh. Um, I have a personal relationship with him. Um, so close that I always see him in my dreams. I see Jesus and also see the, well, I've seen the Holy Spirit once, but I, I connect with the Holy Spirit um, a lot in my dreams, a lot. So I'm always having some type of battle and they always have to show up to help me um, in the battle. I'm always getting in, in, in some type of, um, I, I'm always getting attacked in my dreams. So, and they, they, they're always there to help me. Anyway, in this dream, it wasn't, I wasn't being attacked. And it's not like every night I'm being attacked. But if I don't pray before I go to sleep, I will get attacked. Um, anyway, in this dream, um, it was God himself. I seen the father. Um, but it wasn't like um, God usually comes to me when I see the father in my dreams. He always has a different form. And it's always like... Um, it's just a different form. It's never like... Um, you, you can tell it's not uh, like what we would possibly see when we die. It, it's just like a avatar, I guess, maybe. I don't want to say it like that, but it's kind of like uh, it's an avatar, but I can feel his presence. So that's how I know it's God. Anyway, so I was uh, being uh, held by God like a baby, not like a um, cradle, cradling baby, but up in his, up in his arms, like, like a one or two year old, like he kind of had me like this in his arms. And then he was talking to me like this. And, um, what he was asking me, what he was showing, he was showing me all different parts of the earth and he would show me one region of the earth and he would ask me what should be done there. And he would ask me particular questions about that region or section of the earth. And I would give my opinion about it and he would disagree. He would say no. Um, or he would give me this strange look like, uh, but he, but he, um, he didn't agree with basically none of what I, what I thought should happen in those, sep in those different regions of the earth. He didn't really agree with any of them. He would show me different regions of the earth. What do you think would happen here? What should, what do you think should happen here? Or he would ask me, what do you think is happening here? Um, and I would say it and he would say, no, that's not what's happening here. That this is not what's happening there either. And he would explain to me what, what was going on. So this went on for the whole dream. Um, and then, and then after that, I guess it was a lesson. It, it felt like a lesson. And after that, um, we went into this, uh, into like, um, a, like a room, I guess. But it was uh, a darker room, but it wasn't darkness. But it was just in a darker room. And then I woke up. Um, he said something to me, but I don't remember every single word that he said to me. I don't remember every single thing that he um, told me or asked me. I didn't. I don't remember sp those specific questions, which I was like, I wonder why. And then I, I got I, I got an understanding from the Holy Spirit is that he didn't want me to remember those those questions in particular, other than the general questions of what do you think is happening here in this region? What do you think is, um, 
should be done or what is happening here. But there were some specific things that he asked me and I can't remember those things, but it's not for me to remember what he said. Anyway, um, as I was waking up, I felt the presence of God again, but I was actually woke at this, at this point. I knew it was God in the dream because again, I've been in his presence a lot. So uh, I, I understood it. And then uh, I heard the Holy Spirit tell me to worship. And so I started to worship um, before I, I got up for the morning, you know, to start, to start my day. And um, I felt the presence of God. I felt him. I felt him in, in my heart here. And um, sometimes you can feel him so much you're about to speak in tongues. Um, so I felt it. I felt him telling me this was a lesson that um, that, you know, you need, I needed to continue to learn some of these lessons. So, um, I just wanted to share that dream. It was not, no particular reason other than God, um, asking me to share my dreams and, and I did. And so, um, so basically what, what I got from the dream, the Holy Spirit was telling me is that I, there's, there's some stuff I still need to get. There's some lessons I need to learn about, um, leadership and moving forward and learning and learning to trust what what I need to be leaning on God's understanding and not my own um even though he was asking me my opinion about it my opinion was always wrong and his was always right and so I think that was the best le lesson in leadership that I learned from that dream is to lean on God and what his understanding of what should be done especially when it's pertaining to being a leader. All right. Thank you. Bye.